Hello everyone, this is Dr. Carolyn Maria, working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education, Chennai. The title of the course is Environmental Education, in which we are going to learn Unit 3, Environmental Hazards and Disaster Management. In this video lecture, we are going to focus on the disasters like earthquake, landslide, volcanic eruption, forest fire, tsunami, cyclone, flood, nuclear and industrial accidents and oil spill. Let's now focus on earthquake. Earthquake is a violent shaking of the earth's surface caused by rapid movement of the earth's rocky layer. It is caused by tectonic forces that is the movement of the earth's crust, a sudden movement in the rocks. It is caused by the volcanic eruption where the water percolates into the earth and it turns into steam and the steam tries to come out with the force and that is why the earth tremors. And the earth tremors by man by disturbing the balance of the earth crust by dam construction, underground nuclear explosion, mining project and on. The adverse effects of earthquake are it creates a lot of considerable loss for the life as well as the property. Places are submerged under the sea and it will uh, prevent the people to have proper communication and it, the, sometimes the rivers will disappear and sometimes the rivers will change its course. Railway lines are twisted, houses and buildings develop cracks as well as fissures and massive earthquake destroys the entire dwelling of that particular place. What are the precautionary measures we could take? Earthquakes that are measured in Richter scale, more than six point may cause damage to life and property. We need to stay in open spaces at the time of earthquake. Inside houses, we have to take a shelter under the tables, standing under the lintel as well as the about doors. Fire is to be switched off because it will cause the further damages. Let's now learn what is landslide. A dozen mass of earth and rock down a mountain slope due to the gravitational force with thunderous sound is called landslide. It is common during the rainy season in hilly region. The reasons for landslide are earth tremors, incessant rain, soil erosion, deforestation, tunneling for construction, cultivation on hilltop and construction on hilltop. How, how to prevent the landslide? Denying permission for building on rock, building concrete blocking wall at the slope bottom of the rock, making bedrocks with gravel, forbidding cultivation on hilltop, forbidding destruction of forest. What is desertification? Conversion of fertile land into desert is called as desertification. Deserts are unused land areas of the world without any rainfall. Example, Thar Desert, Sahara Desert, etc. The reasons for desertification are deforestation, overgrazing, excessive utilization of groundwater, pollution in water bodies, overpopulation, mining, etc. The degradation of land resources are overall lowering the quality of the land resources with decreased for soil fertility is called degradation of land resources. Soil fertility is the ability of the soil to supply all the nutrients to the plants. The causes for degradation of land resources are soil erosion, flood, water logging, use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, cultivation without crop rotation, dumping of waste and pollution. What is volcano? What is volcanic eruption? Hot places under the depth of 120 to 160 km below the surface of the earth are having molten rocks in the form of liquid called magma. 
and it has a lot of hot gases and the red hot liquid with solid rocks is called as lava you could see in this picture central vent is a place where the lava ejects burning stone emitted from the central vent get cooled and it will heap and that becomes a mountain which is called as volcanic mountain and the temperature of the volcanoes are 1100 degree celsius japan indonesia philippines china and greece are known for volcanic eruption what are the adverse effects of volcanic eruption loss of life loss of property air pollution water pollution as well as mud flow with water the safety measures for from volcanic eruption are stay inside if possible with windows and doors closed in your houses wear long sleeve shirts and long pants use goggles to protect your eyes exposure to ash can harm the health particularly the respiratory system keep your car or truck engine switched off forest fire forest fire is a fire which cause destruction to the forest as well as wildlife the sources of forest fire are divided into two category as natural sources as lightning volcanic eruption dry weather rubbing of trees etc man induced sources are cigarette stub spark from the vehicle fire caused by recreational activities military shooting burning of waste fire crackers poor maintenance of the electric wire organized crime terrorist attack how to prevent the forest fire strict vigil of forest officers on people access to the forest prohibiting the burn in forest removing the flammable debris that is dry leaves use spark arresters in the vehicle which are used in the forest paying keen attention to the military shooting activities proper maintenance of the electric cables in the forest ban bursting of fire crackers nearby the forest land strict implementation of forest act tsunami the mere word tsunami means su means port nami means wave attack tsunami refers to gigantic waves rising to the height of 20 to 30 feet attacking the coastal region of even far places inflicting massive destruction tsunami is caused by severe earthquake or volcanic eruption under the sea tsunami travel at the speed of 700 to 800 km per hour in india we got tsunami on 26 december 2004 at 6.45 a.m. a severe earthquake measuring 8.9 in the Richter scale. The sea water will go inside during the tsunami time for an unusual distance and the seashore will be lengthened. And at one point of time all the water whichever is gone inside the sea will come out as gigantic waves. And the epicenter located in Sumatra Island, Indonesia we got tsunami in 2004. In 1965, UNESCO established Tsunami Information Center at Honolulu in the Hawaii Island to share the tsunami related data and to provide advanced notification and warnings. The adverse effects of tsunami are loss of life and major injuries. And other potential impact include damage and destruction of homes, affects business and utilities, ports, harbors, cultural resources, it affects the infrastructure and other facilities, loss of access to the basic services like power, sewer as well as water. What are the measures to manage tsunami? Before the occurrence of tsunami, we should avoid building apartments, office, or educational institutions located in the tsunami prone region with a distance of 150 feet from the seashore. Knowing in advance safe quick routes to exit from tsunami we have to be mindful of. 
preparing essential personal belongings to be carried out immediately soon after when we are given an alert during tsunami on coming to know about tsunami one should inform the other people and the family members and people those who are there in the tsunami prone region they have to move quickly with essential personal belongings and if happen to feel massive land vibration we should immediately move to the high regions in that area after tsunami attack coming forward voluntarily to evacuate cooperating with government and voluntary agencies in their rescue and rehabilitation work getting required medical care visiting the people and the places who are affected by tsunami and we shouldn't go there to take some selfie or to see the dangerous places rather to help them for voluntary work we could go due to continued stagnation of the water and the building bases might be eroded and it may collapse that's why we need to avoid going to the building places and all and power breakdown may be happening there in the tsunami affected area so that electricity will not be there we should be very careful of flood flood is a overflow of water that submerges the land that is usually dry and it is because of the raising of the sea water as well as even the river water unusual meteorological conditions like strong physical conditions of the water basin tsunami earthquake all this will end up in flood continuous rainfall excessive melting of snow bursting of dam erosion of river bank landslide and near the river bank are the causes of flood what are the adverse effects of flood it affects the lot of life of the people livestock crops buildings roads communication gets disturbed raising of the river bank how to overcome the flood strengthening the river bank and by raising the height of the river bank ensure soil protection constructing more dams evacuation of people from the flood prone areas let's now focus on cyclone cyclone is a region of low atmospheric pressure surrounded by a wind system in a counter clockwise direction which is called as storm in desert also we do get storm and that is called as desert train sand and it is otherwise called as sand storm and the storm rain snow and that is called as blizzards the wind blows with the speed of 100 to 180 km per hour and heavy rainfall it causes and after crossing the sea shore its speed will gradually decrease and finally it will disappear and the meteorological center detect the appearance of the cyclone with the help of the radar as well as satellite pictures and they give alert to the common public what are the measures to control the cyclone we could go for a lot of vegetation planting of more trees in the coastal area tall buildings construct in plains small windows and doors could be closed then stop power supply suspend the road and air traffic establish the cyclone rehabilitation center in all the places let's now focus on oil spill an oil spill is the release of a liquid petroleum hydrocarbon into the environment especially into the marine ecosystem due to human activity or as a form of pollution oil spill occurs when petroleum oil is released into the ocean following accidents such as vessel crashing or damaging or any problem with oil platform or drilling they can have a devastating effects on the environment affecting the marine and coastal ecologies and they are not easy to remove the ocean tide as well as the current and the weather affect the movement of the oil spill making them unpredictable what are the adverse effects of the oil spill you could see the bird fully uh, you know emerged in the oil it affects the coral reef natural habitat of the marine life breeding 
solid and liquid waste as well as the oil slicks affect the plants fish in the sea it will block the penetration of the sunlight into the sea water by which it will cripple the photosynthesis it affects the health of the marine organism oil slick greases the bodies of the birds you could see in the picture as well as even the mammal and it will become sick and die what are the control measures of oil spill we could burn the thick layer of the oil and sinking oil ships could be made to immerse deep into the sea emulsification of oil slick could be done by a process of dispersing one liquid on the second liquid that is water oil with another chemical by applying the electrostatic or hydrophobic or hydrogen bonding interactions then exhaust the oil from the sinking oil carriers on the ships what are industrial accidents an industrial accident is any accident that happens to a person in the course of their work that results in any injury or death Industrial accidents can have severe consequences on human health, environment, including the other affected countries. The types of industrial accidents are either slip or fall. The worker should be provided with non-slip footwear and proper training in safety procedures to avoid resulting injuries such as musculoskeletal pain, falling objects. chemical burn exposure and improper lifting or over exertion you could see in this picture a tragedy happened in india in 1984 the world's worst industrial disaster on the midnight of 3rd december 1984 thousands of people died because of the bhopal gas tragedy where 30 tons of highly toxic methyl isocyanate gas leaked from the union carbide factory in bhopal in madhya pradesh and it killed so many people another uh, industrial accident is was happened in april 1986 in chernobyl and it caused the nuclear reactor malfunction largest controlled release of radioactive waste into the environment and it released the radioactive materials and that lasted for 10 days and it happened in chernobyl which is located in ukraine and it uh, the affected areas are ukraine belarus as well as even russia main radioactive waste are iodine 131 and cesium 137 and the radioactive material settled down in dust as well as debris but lighter materials were carried by the wind across the countries and it caused 28 death and within 3 months so many plants also it is not in use the adverse effects of industrial accidents accidents in the workplace can have huge impact on the business loss of productivity in the industry reduction of sales low uh, staff morale the loss of repetition of the company at worst it can end up in the closure of the industry if any worker suffers with an injury during the employment they are entitled to workers compensation what are the measures to control the industrial accidents communicate the safety instructions clearly mark walkways or roadways clearly keep the workplace neat and tidy keep the skill qualification records up to date then clarify the personal availability third data into information and information into insight for all the people select the best team for specialist tasks These are some of the suggested books for your further reading. Thank you for listening. Wish you all good luck.